Hello, this is Ryan from Better Tattooing, and we're going to be giving you another tip to help you improve your line work. All right. <laughs> Okay, now that that's over, let's get into our third bit of lining help for those out there trying to improve their line work. We have a couple troubles with this stuff. This is some things that um, I wish I especially would have known when I first started tattooing. It probably would have helped not only speed up my process, but maybe also improve the quality of the tattoos when they were done. Um, and go back and watch the other videos. We had our first one about like the angle of your hand, right, in relation to the skin. Um, and how that actually puts in the, the tattoo, you know, pigment, which is kind of a fun one to learn. And it's super complex. Take your time, like, kind of going over that one. Um, and we just did another one. I forget what it was. It was a little while ago. But now we're doing number three. And this one is going to be, number three, is going to be change the number of needles. Right? So, more often than not, and this, this just happens to us in tattooing, I mean, we're, we're doing so many things trying to be artists and psychologists and, you know, uh, business people and whatever, you know, rock stars, that we try to take the path of least resistance to get everything done. So, if I set up for a tattoo and I've set up, you know, a five-round liner, um, it, it would behoove me, possibly, in some sections to also have a three-round but I won't do it, I'll just make the five round work, right? And that's not good. <laughs> what can happen with this stuff? So I'm, I'm seeing some people where they're getting into, let's do the, the two sides of this, right? It's too big, too big of a needle. Uh, okay, so too big of a needle. So when you're using too big of a needle to try and do something, I see a lot of um, realism dudes will do this. They'll have a flatter mag and rather than pulling out a liner they'll end up just taking their liner and kind of or their mag and tipping it up onto a single needle that's running and run it like a liner which is fine i mean it, it can work in some cases but unless you're like really skilled and very practiced at this um it's not gonna it's not equivalent right like i mean even if you're skilled or whatever it's just easier just to pull out a liner and use the tool the way that it's supposed to be used um, when you use too big of a needle on the space you're going to create just like stuff that doesn't look good, right? If you're wanting a bunch of really thin hair detail on a Neotrad, you know, dragon or wolf or whatever, right? And you're using a 13 round liner to do this, it's not gonna be as effective as, you, as if you pulled out like a three tight, you know what I mean? So taking the time to try and identify what each one of these things is, almost like a paint by numbers approach to doing the tattoo, is gonna help the quality of the line work especially improve. You need to use the tools kind of as how they're, uh, they're meant for, right? So, on the opposite side of this, right, too small, and I'm going to use these, like, as kind of, you know, random descriptors. Like, you know, this is going to be the quantity of needles inside of the grouping, right? It's a big grouping versus a small grouping. Um, if we're using too small of a needle, what's going to happen is we're just going to extend the heel time on this. I mean, especially if you don't know how to use a three round or a single needle or an extra type five grouping uh, effectively in a person's skin, uh, you know, it, it's just gonna take a ton of time to get something done. And at the same time, you may over traumatize the skin. Um, do we do, you know, like large tribal, we'll say an entire sleeve of tribal with a three round? No, we shouldn't do that, right? We can use many different groupings past the three round to do it. I mean, is it impossible to do it? No, is it efficient? Probably not, depending on who you are. I've seen some people who can use a three round and just, I don't even know how they do stuff that fast, but they can just crush an entire lining of a sleeve in about 40 minutes. It's, you know, super complex, you know, I don't know, trash polka sleeve with a bunch of realism elements and all this, like 20, 30 minutes into it, they got a sleeve mapped and with a three round, I don't even know how you did that. But for the most of us, or the rest of us out there, um, we need to use the tool as it is specified, right? If you need to do a large filling in with something, you'll use a large needle. If you need to do a large line, using too small of a needle probably isn't gonna be effective. If I have a very small line and I wanna use a three round, right? This one is, okay, we'll make a smiley face on that. Inversely, if I'm trying to do, we'll say this is like two scale, right? It's not straight, but it's to scale. If I'm trying to do a line this thick, and I'm using the three round, it's not gonna work. 
What I'd probably do if I did something like this is I would take my three round, I would build one line on the bottom, I'd shade them with a five or a seven mag, maybe a nine, depending on how thick, if this is actually how thick it is, probably a nine. And then once that was done, I'd go and fill any of the spots left that need to be filled in and finish that outside edge by pushing the pigment back against it like we've discussed in our first video to create a, a clean line, right? It doesn't mean that it's going to be too small of a needle, but if you're doing single pass work, you have to make sure that you're going to be using the tool that is required for it. In efficiency, right? That efficiency, not inefficiency, in comma efficiency, we need to be sure that we are giving the client or ourselves and the artwork the respect that it needs by using the tool that's specified for the job. If you have a chance to do multiple passes, it's a lot different, right? You can sit there and build lines over time. But if you're just going in and I've got 16 different line weights and variations inside of a design, I should probably have a few different liners in there instead of just using one. So, lining tip number three, think about the needles that you're using and if need to, change them. That's it for today. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing signing off. Thank you.